it's Karen Marie of Wildling Ways, your conscious lifestyle facilitator. Wildling Ways is a channel dedicated to full power living for mind, body and soul. Um, it's full of useful guides, tips, information, everything that I've learned over the years that have helped me, guide me, um, inspire me and kind of made me realise, oh, actually, there's so much more that, you know, life is so not black and white. There's so much more to it. It's really been an exciting journey. And really, I'm here to share with you all the kind of things that have inspired me over the last few years. And I want to sh share them with you. And I hope that you get inspired too. So I'm doing a series on uh, life path astrology. In particular, we are looking at the rising sign. Now, your rising sign is all about um, how. So, I use the, the life path astrology readings really as a business tool. It's really for the spiritual leaders of, of tomorrow. And it's kind of here, you know, what are you here to accomplish in this lifetime? What did your soul come down onto this planet to do? Okay, and it's just one astrology is one of those tools, you know, it can it's it's a useful tool. Obviously, you can do whatever you, whatever the fuck you want, but it's kind of give you if you want a bit of direction, and I know a lot of people do, then it's a really good tool. It's one of to one of many tools, okay, and one that I've used over the last year or so to kind of help me uh, help me step up into my own kind of soul purpose. And um Sorry, so going back to it, so the rising sign is the problem you're here to solve, it's your sole purpose, it's how you want to lead in business, it's what uh, people are attracted to when they first, you know, first impressions, when they see you, they're just like, oh, you know, that's that's what they attract you, they might not even know your sun sign, but they'll, they'll come towards that, they'll come towards that energy of your rising sign. Okay, so we are on the last one, actually, the last one of this series, and it's all about Pisces. So Pisces is at the end of the zodiac. It's the last one to the to the point, really, where Pi Pisces is almost otherworldly <laughs> in a way. You know, it represents the twelfth house in the chart, and the twelfth house is like karma. It's kind of a past lives and I like to look at Pisces really as the bridge between the the 3D and the 5D, the physical and the ethereal, okay, they're kind of, Piscean is here, it's like a bridge between the two, I think Pisces, because the way we can look at astrology is every sign that precedes the sign before, there's always, it's there's always part of every sign, okay, that comes. So if you can imagine Aries at the start, it's new, it's brand new, it's, um, you know, it's childlike, it's innocent, it represents the fall, it takes leaps and chances and all this kind of thing, where Pisces has gone through the whole zodiac to get where it is. So it has a little bit of everything, therefore making it a very wise old soul. So Pisces... You really are the dream makers, okay? Really have, uh, you're imaginative, you're creative. You can see, again, you don't get, uh, you don't get bogged down by physical reality. Obviously you do, but you can always, you know that there's another side to things. You know that there's something much more meaningful, much more deeper. You know that there's a more of a, a expanded consciousness, Okay, so people, clients are going to come to you, your kismic client, as we call it, are going to come to you because they they love to see this, ima this imagination of yours, okay? It really, you really are a creative soul and therefore you can create, you have, you are able to make creative solutions to problem, to people's problems. As I say, very wise as well. So people are going to come to you because they know that what, you know, that you've kind of, even if you might not have experienced, you have this kind of deep and inner knowing, this truth behind what you say. Um, you know, you you don't sweat the small stuff. You know, you're very a, a very chilled out sign, actually. And because of this bigger thinking, because of this more expanded consciousness, because of this more global you know you're not 
just such uh, it's not just about the individuals it's more about this collective way of thinking and this is where you really do shine so people are going to be really attracted to that so anything you know you're also a water sign as well so you're very um you know emo in touch with your emotions as well and as i say you, it's almost like this dreamy quality to you and people your ideal clients your kismic clients are going to really appreciate that about you so pisces you know you're uh, you could also look you you could be your very natural healer very you have psychic abilities you know you're very in tune with this this other world so you really want to use those uh use those tools to your advantage and people will thank you for it for your perspective thing so pisces there we go that's just a little snapshot of your uh for your if you are a pisces rising do you resonate any if you know is there anything you'd add if you're a pisces rising how does it affect you in your life i'd love to know so please leave me a comment for more gems of wisdom like subscribe i do a weekly program and um i haven't i'm not sure what i'm gonna do from uh for next week i'll have a think about it over the next week and see what my next uh my next series will be on so i hope you've enjoyed i hope you've really enjoyed the uh series you know pass it on to your friends family see if you can see you know oh i can see that she's an aries rising or you know have a go if you want to learn learn astrology in that what this is the best way to do it by observing other people okay well take care everybody and i wish you all the very best and i wish you all well see you in the next episode bye bye